Wait, there are so many more doors. What? <laughs> What's up everybody, Queen of the Green here, and we're gonna be checking out a new indie horror game that came out this year called Decadence. I've seen a lot of people playing it. Uh, looks like the description of it says, as you look forward to your wedding anniversary with your wife, what is this unnerving presence that keeps chasing you around? I've been avoiding watching any of the other YouTubers playing this because I wanted to experience the game for myself and I'm excited to see what the hype is about. So let's check it out. I, Anita, take you, D, to be my husband. For better, for worse. In sickness and in health. Till death do us part. Anita. What's my name? Douglas? What year is this? Or is that my parents? Oh, 1986. Anniversary. Okay. Wait, but like, what is that? All right. We need to set the table. That's our goal right now. Plates? Yeah, place. Where do you keep your plates? Oh, up here? Okay, now what? Silverware. I feel like something about this is off. Can I just pick up more than one? Oh yeah, I can pick it all up. Uh, cups, are we using coffee cups for normal cups? Okay, weird. Okay, get, get, hang on a second, where? Where's the phone? Hi, sweetie. I can't seem to find my ring. Can you find it and place it next to my jewelry box? Again, honey? I keep on forgetting. Oh, stop complaining. I was running late for work. Uh, okay. We'll do it now. <sighs> Thank you, Dean. I'll be home soon. Why is that something you need to call about? Okay, this is the bathroom. Oh, there's the ring. That was easy. Where did she want me to put it? In the bedroom? Where did she put that ring? By her jewelry? Where's her jewelry? Box. I thought she wanted me to put it here. Y'all you know, don't make your bed? Locked. Um, what the? This is the second time this week. I have to clean this up before she gets home. I don't understand what happened. What even was that? Wait, what? Everything's all fucked up. No. What? Dude. What the hell? Can I clean this up? Oh. Oh wow. I brought my key. Can you unlock that door for me? Okay. Is this it? Wait. Wait. What? 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 What's happening? Why does it look the same? What the fuck? Is this us? Anniversary still on the 12th. Oh, this is the next day. Because it was only marked off until Saturday before. And now it's marked off Sunday. So what's this say? Saudi arms sale saved. Okay, well, everything's already done in here. What's this book say? A grief observed. Oh, and the handmaid's tale. <laughs> Great. They clean their floor. Stephen King Christine. Interesting choices. Oh, hey, Dean. 
Can you clean the mess you left in the living room? You left your books all over the table. What mess? Fine, give me a second. I mean, there's like two books here. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. There we go. I think I can go for some fresh air. <gasps> what was that? Can you check it out? Okay, I guess I'm going outside. That's where it wants me to go. This door. It's just gonna be the same fucking thing. What? And this like little black thing here on the end has been getting larger and larger. It was like it was like a small dot be in the other room, and then here it's like this, and then look at it now. What is that? What is that? What? Dear Dean. I hope this letter finds you well and that you are finding the strength to keep your head up after these last couple days. I wanted to write you today because I'm very concerned about your well-being, especially after this traumatic event. Cannot feel your pain as much as you do, but please be aware that I am always here for you as a friend and someone you can lean on. I have not heard from you lately and I worry that you are struggling to cope with everything. Remember that you do not have to shoulder this burden alone. I understand that someone going through what you would have would find it difficult to take care of themselves. But please keep in mind that we have your best interests at heart and pushing us away will only hurt you more in the long run. Don't hesitate to reach out your friend Baptiste. Hmm. Here's a gift. Better hide it in the closet before she gets home. We are now on Tuesday. Okay. Wait, to, what is this? Oh, is that this? <gasps> no. Wait, what? Why is all of our shit all fucked up? Our bed is just getting messier and messier. Shit all over the floor. Weird. Muppet magazine. Taking a lot of pills. So I'm probably... Okay, that's locked for now. What am I... It's gonna make me open this door, huh? No? Yeah, I'm honestly not sure what I'm supposed to do right now. Come down here. I can't open this door. I can open my bedroom door. Oh. Okay. Oh. That's what I... No. What? 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 Okay. What about... Oh. That wasn't there before. Um, okay. A lot of, a lot of black goo. Anita, are you okay? Not now. I need space to breathe, please. You're suffocating me. Come out here and talk to me. Okay, am I the crazy one or is she the crazy one? I'm gonna read this letter again. Does it say Dean? It does say Dean. Okay, so I'm the crazy one. Finish talking. Open the damn door. I'm sick and tired of your shit. I said leave me alone. What the hell? I swear, he was here. I, I heard her. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. Okay. What? What's all this black shit? Let's keep on trucking, I guess. Oh, it's locked. Oh, but this is open. Okay, that's the only way I can go. One day away. Dear Dean, 
We hope this letter finds you well. We are writing to address a matter that has come to our attention regarding your recent absence, absence from work for six days without prior notice or explanation. As an integral part of our team, your presence and commitment to your responsibilities are crucial for the smooth operation of this company. We kindly request that you provide us with an explanation for your absence during the specified period. This will enable us to understand the circumstances surrounding your absence and explore potential ways to address any challenges you might be facing to avoid any negative impact on your professional development and the overall functioning of our team. We kindly request that you adhere to our attendance policy moving forward. We encourage you to schedule a meeting with your manager, Juliet, at your earliest convenience to discuss your recent absence and any underlying concerns you may have. Thank you for your attention to this matter. Sincerely, Arthur. What in the chat GPT did I just read? You just say you've been like not at work. What's going on? Wait, funeral services. Okay, so someone died close to me. Did my wife die? Am I just like crazy? Cause like, <gasps> dude, I feel like my wife died. Is that the twist that I blow it for myself? Okay. Mm. Did you make the bed, Anita? Oh, the bathroom's normal. Interesting. I want the bedroom. <gasps> what? Also, why do you even have this in your house? Moving day. Heart. Fucking creepy. Are these tissues? Are they happy tissues or sad tissues? <laughs> what is all this shit? There's all this other shit here now. What is this? It's a va vase and some candles. Still taking the pills. Still not making the bed. <gasps> well, that's creepy. Oh, I can't. All right, what? I am notorious for breaking games, so I hope I didn't break it. Oh, there, inspect. Moving day. We took this picture when we first moved here. Brings back many memories. A new beginning. Dude, I hate moving. Oh. Oh, the door shut. I didn't know what was happening just then. All right, let's go. Oh. It's normal. Kinda. I'm checking the door. Oh, God. Can I lock it? <laughs> That's creepy. What are all these? Dear Dean Coleman, I hope this letter finds you and your family in good health during this challenging time. Please accept my sympathies. Know that my thoughts and prayers are with you and your family as you navigate through this difficult period. As your attorney, it is my responsibility to assist and guide you through the legal matters pertaining to your something. I uh, understand this stressing and emotionally overwhelming time. And I am here to provide you with the necessary information and support to ensure a smooth and efficient resolution. In the upcoming days, I kindly request to you to schedule a meeting with your at your earliest convenience. This meeting will allow us to discuss the necessary legal procedures, including probate, asset distribution, and any other legal matters associated with your wife's estate. During the meeting, I will provide you with a comprehensive overview of the steps involved and answer any questions or concerns you may have. Sincerely, Rebecca Smith, Kirkland and Cole Law Firm. All right. Did I, like, what's happening here? I'm going to pick up all this shit. Still just static. We're not paying for a uh, cable here. These are all the same notes. Locked. Wait, there are so many more doors. What? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, 
fire can. Okay, so one of these doors is going to open. It's probably going to be like the last one. Why are there so many? There were only there were only three before. Wait, I can't open any of them. <gasps> hmm. Okay. Today's the day. Oh. Dude. Anita, is that you? Beautiful as you did four years ago. I'm sorry, Alita. I can't let you go. We'll be together forever. Even if death could do us part. That was interesting. I kind of thought there was going to be more to it, honestly. Like when he said death do us part, like was he, is he gonna kill himself or like that last scare got me <laughs> for sure but yeah that was, that was an okay horror horror game i'll give it maybe 7.5 out of 10 8 out of 10 something like that i would like to see more for sure